Howdy. Today is February 17th. It's about 4.39 on the West Coast. I'm in uh, Santa Monica, California, right here at the beach. And uh, I had, uh, see this little thing on my neck here. That's the uh, bandage for um, a biopsy that was done this morning and uh, won't have the uh, results for another week. Um, but um, it, you know, I'm alive and You know, it went as well as could be, I guess. Uh, had to use a local anesthetic, so I was fully awake for having the needle jabbed into my neck. And that was pretty painful, but that's the way it goes. Um, the scheduled a, uh, a PET scan for uh, the 25th, which is, uh, I think it's a week, it's either a week from today or a week uh, from tomorrow. And, um, and so we'll know, I have a, a consultation the next day, the 26th, so all the results of all the tests will come in. Oh, and I, I don't have COVID, so that's a good thing. That COVID test I did last week so that I could get the this, this uh, what you call it, done. This um, biopsy done. Apparently turned up negative, so, which is, you know, it's always good to know that you don't have COVID. Um, so, it's looking like, in case you haven't been following along too well, I'll just, a quick recap. Uh, September of 2019, I was diagnosed with squamous cell carcinoma. For four months, I tried to boost my immune system, thinking that that would I'd be able to beat it myself. And I started a, um, a shamanic journey to try to get down to the spiritual reasons and behind it all. And then um, it became apparent that after a, a phone consultation I had with a, one of the leading researchers into squamous cell carcinoma, that uh, of what the biological cause of this cancer was, um, it was made clear to me that there was absolutely no way that my immune system was going to um, be able to take care of it on its own because the um, the DNA of the virus was fused with the DNA of my throat cells and um, so it was virtually invisible and at that point um, this doctor said he said you know uh, I've treated 10,000 patients with this and if you choose not to do the you know the allopathic treatments the chemo and radiation that's being recommended um, I you know I'll, I'll support you uh, there have there have certainly been a few people of those patients that have chosen that path and I wish you well if that's what you choose to do and I asked him you know like all right so uh, of the 10,000 people you've treated you know how many how many of them um I mean what what kind of outcomes did they get he said um they're all dead <laughs> so I was like he said you know uh if you're if you're thinking about the the treatment 
it's there's no point in waiting you're not gonna gain anything by by putting it off at all and that was kind of like the deciding factor that and you know a couple of my doctor friends um brian <laughs> calling me up and saying uh saying the same exact thing that that the doctor that diagnosed it said the same phrase they said you know the good thing is that the the research is clear that uh the uh you know the with the chemo and radiation the the cancer will just melt away <laughs> I thought it was so amazing. It's like they were reading from the same script. The, the cancer will just melt away. And uh, last year when I was going through the treatment, I started the treatment in, on February 12th. So last week I'd posted one of these videos on the 12th at 12.12, I mean, excuse me, at 2.12, and uh, kind of letting people know it was up. And um, I said I would, you know, when I, when I finished the uh, biopsy I'd, I'd post another one so this would be that um, so I, I started the treatment on the 12th last year February 12th and uh, the first that was the first infusion uh, chemo infusion I did two chemo infusions and I did um, about two and a half weeks of radiation at 200 units a day. And then I, I actually, following my own intuition, I stopped doing the infusions. I mean, stopped doing the, uh, the radiation. Which I'm, I'm really glad that I did because it felt like, um, my intuition was just telling me that, that I needed to stop it. Anyway, by June, I was, on June 10th, I was declared cancer free. And uh, so what was going on? I mean, when we started the treatment, what was happening, what I had going on was I had a, a tumor the size of my thumb on my tonsil in the back of my mouth. And I had a second cancer site. There are, there are four lymph nodes right here. And uh, three of them, uh, the top three, is one in the front, two behind it, and one below it. Um, the, those three lymph nodes, three of the four, were as big as uh, a jumbo size egg when we started treatment. And um, I responded really well to the chemo. Um, that tumor in the back of my throat was gone in 11 days, the first 11 days before I even started the, the radiation. Um, but they radiated me anyway and um, I uh, ended up, um, you know, it took another couple of months for that, for those, the uh, active cancer sites within those lymph nodes to, to um, completely disappear. And that was the last time, June was the last time I did a PET scan. Um, so we're going to have another one next week. To confirm and basically make sure uh, and see if the cancer is spread anywhere else in my body. Um, like I said last week, I don't think that I don't I don't think that it has. This uh, um, mass that's in there right now is in the fourth lymph node, the one that wasn't cancerous last time. So. Um, and it's, it's not nearly as large as what was going on before. So we're, we're starting early, we're being a very aggressive because this, this cancer can be very aggressive. And, um, you know, they haven't said anything about the treatment again yet, but if it's the same thing, then, you know, the, you know, the sooner the better as far as I'm concerned, uh, uh, you know, um, It'll most likely be this the same uh, chemo, um, and as far as radiation, if if radiation is required, I will 
would probably uh, opt for doing the doing proton therapy instead of the radiation that that blankets the whole that whole part of my body like I did last time from from here to here and you know killed all my taste buds and but the proton therapy is more it's more targeted it's like using a laser beam and it's what they use to do uh, they use it a lot on um, uh, prostate cancers so um, so that's what's up uh, once again I feel I feel pretty healthy otherwise uh, even though that right now <laughs> my my neck kind of hurts because somebody stuck a needle in it today I don't recommend this to anybody by the way in case you were thinking about it you know you're like well maybe I'll have to see about sticking a needle in my neck um, I don't I don't think I don't think you should do that just you know if you can learn from somebody else's experience I don't recommend it um, the only reason uh, we did it with a topical anesthesia today was because uh, they were like, you need to have somebody drive you home. And I was like, uh, I live in a van. <laughs> you know, home is a van. And uh, there's no home, there's no home to drive. You just walk out to the parking lot and I'm home, you know. But they were like, no, for legal reasons, we, you know, it's, it's either, it's either that or we do a, use a topical. I was like, well, then we're going to have to use a topical. Um, which I'm also really glad I did instead of um, their anesthesia because it includes some sort of anti anti uh, um, anxiety medicine or something like that. I don't know, like I don't need I don't need that you know I don't need that kind of psychic intrusion so to speak. So anyway, um, that's what's up got a week to uh, try to find some sky to jump into before I have to be back here in LA um, yeah so maybe a hot spring to although I can't get in can't bathe till tomorrow because uh, you know there's a hole in my neck <laughs> I don't want to get get any uh, infection going, but um, that's what's new with David. So I will, of course, uh, um, post another video about on this topic. Um, I have a YouTube channel that I started last year called Life of the Artist, David Alexander English, or DA English, or DAE. And, um, and I post, you know, hey, I post, uh, you know, stuff that has to do with, with, um, this journey. And, um, that's where this video is going. So I'll post another one um, probably on the 26th because, uh, I'll have more, more information after, um, having my, uh, consultation on the 26th with the, with the doctor that's ordered all these tests. So... At that point, I'm, I'm expecting them, her to refer my case to the oncology department, and uh, hopefully, within um, a week or two after that, we we can start uh, treatment again and get get on top of this thing. And um, I'm guessing because the last time. There was so much more cancer, you know, the two active cancer sites this time, and they had ordered four infusions. I'm guessing it may just be two infusions, which is, 
you know, they're usually three, me three weeks apart. So in theory, I could be done with, you know, the, the, tr the, the actual um, infusions by the end, before the end of March. And uh, I don't know about the radiation. I don't know what that's, that's something I have to, I would have to uh, do more research on. I'm guessing it wouldn't be as much radiation because it can't be because I've had so much before. Um, but uh, as it was discussed back then, when I stopped the radiation, um, one of the benefits of stopping the radiation is that I would I would have because your body remembers what how much you've had um, and you can only have so much before it starts to kill you um, uh, one of the benefits of having stopped it is that I, I kind of like saved my ammo in case I had to do another another round so here we are on the cusp of potentially needing to do another round and I I can you know I I could take at least another 5,000 units um, but we'll see we'll see what 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 what's up um, and uh, so fire trucks okay okay so let me wind this up with my favorite part, which is the love beam. This is me beaming love at you, such as it is, love and light.